beautiful morning. George, Bat Ninja Food Forest. I've seen a lot of talk on what fertilizers to use, how to use them, what fungicide to use, what pesticide to use. I just think our view of uh, how we grow things has become so distorted. There's a little bit of a fire blighter blight on that apple tree. So my potatoes, tomatoes, have some fungus on their bottom leaves that were too close to the ground. Potatoes got some brown spot here and there. But I don't use any pesticide, any fungicide, any insecticide here. I always make the videos om. Do the meditation with me, oh, but honestly, we leave that organic matter in place. See that bird just flew, that uh, eastern tohe just flew out of there, was eating, down there eating raspberries or something, or, or bugs. I opened the door this morning, there was a finch eating a bug on the front step. We see it all day long in here, all these interactions. Using the seven or nine or ten layers of a food forest, depending on what you want to classify having water in there from nut trees, fruit trees, bush layer, shrub layer, herbaceous layer, ground covers, rooting crops, all those plants, animal and fungi working in a symbiotic relationship. As well as that, not trying to save one tree, one plant, one bush so hard that we have to spray those things on it. That takes us into the soil. The soil itself has so many connections going on to make this look like this. That's why we leave that organic matter in place. The bacteria come along, the fungi come along, they break down that organic matter, feeding the next chain of life on up through the five trophic levels from organic matter, bacteria, fungi, and so on. Protozoa nematodes, mini arthropods, microarthropods, frogs saying hi. It doesn't happen overnight, and it takes time to get to this, but you gotta have trust in the system. If you start this in a year, six months, two years, three years later, you decide to till or spray chemicals on it, you're gonna set yourself back again, way back. No, I don't have my PhD, but I built my platform. I think it speaks for itself. I've known these frogs for years, or these new ones, the babies, the old ones, the snakes that live here, the different birds that come through. We see all those interactions. Everyone sees the bears that come through. Not only is it a wonderful life, this is recreating that carbon cycle, producing the needs, needs of many, not just us humans. I'm not bragging and I'm not telling you what to do. I'm living by example. If this doesn't show that you don't need chemicals, pesticides, fertilizers, and start where you are using organic fertilizers, whatever, I, I just chose not to. Eventually that forest system takes over though. All right, see you Mr. Frog. Change better than a holiday. Peace.